This is Editor Richard Southern joins us now and Richard Loblaw has been delivering groceries to customers for several years now. But the next truck that pulls up to your house may not actually have a, anyone in the driver's seat. Yeah, spooky. It's not a Halloween spooky thing. This is um, I, this is like the future, I guess. Yeah. Melissa. Autonomous driverless vehicles. They're actually on the road right now. Loblaws is teaming up with an American autonomous vehicle company to to bring these very trucks out on Toronto roads. And what they're doing, they are delivering uh, goods from a Loblaws distribution facility to five retail locations across the GTA. They're not the, uh, the, the trucks that are pulling up to your house. They're just point to point distribution center to local distribution facility. There is right now an actual human behind the wheel just to make sure everything is safe. But Loblaws says these trucks have done 150,000 trips without anyone actually driving safely. And so the company has applied to and has received permission from the Ontario government to actually take the driver out of the seat, though they haven't done so yet. There's no timeline on that, but it sounds like that is the plan. And the, the trucks, they go 12 hours a day, seven days a week. That's the, the good thing for the companies here is nobody's calling in sick. Uh, nobody's hung over or anything like that. So, <laughs> of course, the other side of the coin is, is it taking someone's job? And that's really not quite clear yet, Melissa. Yeah, so imagine seeing that on the road beside you. It's still kind of creepy. Yeah, that's yeah. the future. Wow. Now, Goldman Sachs is raising their crude oil forecast, which means even higher gas prices could be on the way. Uh, yeah, gas has been such a big story this week with a 16 cent increase over the past 48 hours here in the GTA. We're not expecting the price to change tonight. That's the, I don't want to call it good news, but that's, you know, uh, the fortunate thing, I suppose. No change tonight. But if you believe this, this forecast today, we could be looking at sharply higher prices over the next two or three months. Goldman Sachs, the big U.S. investment bank, thinks oil will hit $110 by the end of the year, up from the 88 and change it's at today, owing to OPEC's production cutbacks that were announced yesterday. Goldman says the oil prices could go even higher than that if uh, the inventory numbers are not quite up to stuff. The Canadian dollar is another factor here. It was way down today. And when the loony goes down, gas becomes more expensive because it's all priced the commodity in U.S. dollars. So the forecast doesn't look so good for gasoline, but no change tonight, Melissa. Okay. And if you're looking to board a flight to Europe or Asia, you may have one less option soon. Yeah. Take Melissa and I with you if you're boarding a flight. Please, to please do. Europe. <laughs> but it might be a little bit more expensive uh, because WestJet, with a pretty interesting announcement today, WestJet said it's going to take all of its long haul 787 aircraft out of Toronto. They're, they're not, you're not going to be able to fly to Europe direct with WestJet from Toronto anymore. It's a new strategy being employed by Canada's second largest airline, one in which it will concentrate all its long haul operations out of Calgary. There was a big announcement with the Alberta government today to expand WestJet's operations in Calgary, and part of it will be all the 787s there. You'll still be able to fly WestJet's 737, smaller aircraft out of Toronto, but uh, the airline is done, I think, trying to compete with Air Canada out of TO instead, focusing on Western Canada instead, Melissa.